of the dark of night, from the shadows of the senses comes this, the fantasy of fear, nightmare, starring as your exciting guide to terror, Peter Lorre. so sure of yourself because, uh, because I know the story of a woman who didn't believe in ghosts either, and she made a business of it, until one day, terror struck from behind the dark veil. You are listening to Peter Lorre tell you of the chance of a ghost. Now, about this woman, uh, oh yes, Sonia Gale. Sonia was a medium. She made her living out of death. <laughs> you know what a medium is. They hold seances, they, they lift tables and chairs. They make weird voices come out of nowhere. They say they are in touch with a dead. <laughs> you don't believe it? Oh, you don't believe in ghosts, huh? Well, neither do I, most of the time. And neither did Sonia, at first. Stephen, can you hear me, Stephen? Stephen. Stephen, where is it? Stephen, tell me. Oh, come on, Myra, let's get out of here. Ben, please. I see this is ridiculous. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, yes, little one, yes, little one. Stay seated, Mr. Jones. Don't move. She's contacted her control below here. Ben, please, please don't move. Put your hands on the table, Ben, or you'll break the trance. Did you see she's in the trance? She's been in a trance all her life. Oh, no, please. Every time we come here, she goes into one of those phony trances. And we still haven't seen her spoken to Stephen. Quiet, Mr. Jones. You'll destroy the sound. You ask me. We're in the trance for coming here, paying good money for this foolishness. Oh, little one, I hear. She hears. I didn't hear a thing myself. Stephen, we want to talk to Stephen Jones. Ask him where the money is. Be quiet, please, Mrs. Jones. One thing at a time. She has to talk to the control first. The money, Stephen. Tell me where it is. Oh, little one, ask him where. Where the money is. The money. Oh, nuts. There. Jones, you destroyed it. I'm going home. Get the lights on, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, what, what happened? He broke the spell. You shouldn't have moved, Ben. You shouldn't have taken your hand off the table. Oh, baloney. Come on, Myra. Let's go. Mr. Jones, I don't know why you come here if you don't intend to cooperate. My wife wants to come, that's why. But I must speak to Stephen. We'll let you know, Mrs. Jones. We'll let you know if Madame Gale will let you have another apartment now. We'll, we'll call you. Oh, all right. Come, Ben. I've been ready for an hour and a half. It's all your fault. My fault. You haven't been so impatient. Taking your hands off the table. Oh, my God. They gone? Yeah. They're gone. Boy, I need a drink, will you, Charlie? Sure. Hey, you, Lionel? I'm always ready for a drink after one of these sessions. Oh, Lionel, now don't start up again. I haven't said a word. I can see it coming. Bottoms up? Thanks, Charlie. Luck, Lionel? Something I can always use. Oh, well, how'd I do? Oh, you were wonderful, Sonia, as usual. <laughs> I haven't lost my acting ability. I only wish you'd put it where it belongs. On the stage. Oh, Lionel, I thought you said you were going to be nice. Never said any such thing. Well, I'm tired. I can't stand another argument. As usual. Charlie, huh? Charlie, I'm ashamed. Both for myself and Sonia. Now, look, old boy, there's no need to... No, I, I really am. And I just had to say... Oh, shut up. One of these days, I will. Hey, I seem to be in the way around here, and anyway, I've got a dinner engagement. Don't be silly, Charlie. Fix us another drink. <laughs> Another chop, Charlie. Huh? Oh, no, 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 thanks. So you're going to give them another apartment? Well, why not? Sonia, those people aren't made of money, you well, know. Well, they've got more than we've got. Rob the rich to feed the poor, that's what I say. Pass the string beans, Charlie. Hmm? String beans. Oh, Sonia, where's your conscience? Oh, Lionel, stop. Sonia, I... I don't have any conscience. You used to have one when we were married, you had a... When we were married, you had a job. Well, because I haven't ever had a stroke of bad luck doesn't mean that you have to indulge in a dishonest, unscrupulous racket. A stroke of bad luck? Five years now, some stroke. 
Now, what's the matter? Johnny, I'm not going to play the part of your stooge any longer. Now, just a minute. You can get somebody else to help you with your hypocrisy. You can get another assistant to rig the wires that make the hands float and the table rise. I'm getting out. Oh, you're going to look for a job? I didn't say that. Of course you didn't. I'm going out for a walk. I'll see you, Charlie. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I've got a cigarette, Charlie. Sure. Thanks. Well, I guess this evening hasn't been exactly enjoyable for you. Look, Sonia, maybe I should mind my own business, but... But what? Go ahead, say it. Well, every time I come over here lately, you tour up and at it, always about the same thing, this seance business of yours. So? Well, well, suppose you did give it up. Suppose you... Don't be silly. But it might make things better, Sonia, for you and Lionel. Never in a million years. Come on, Charlie, out with it. It's not just your interest in Lionel's and my welfare. You're against the two. Well, not exactly. Look, Against my brother was a spiritualist. There's a difference, Sonia. Martin was admired when he was alive because because he was sincere. He believed in what he was doing. And I don't. Admittedly. All right. So I'm in it for the money. That's the difference. And a good, sound, sensible difference it is, too. If other people believe in ghosts, why shouldn't I take advantage of it? Why shouldn't I? <laughs> Stephen, is it Stephen I hear, little one? She's here, Careful now. This is a dangerous moment. Don't move. Ask him where it is. Ask him where the money is. Stephen, Stephen Jones. Look, Ben. A hand floating in space. Stephen, Stephen Jones, your sister wants to know. Where the money is. Where's the money, Stephen? Where did you hide the money? You all right? Oh, what happened? Come on, Ben. Let's get out of here. The attic, he said, under the third floor board. What are you so quiet about, staring into space like that? I- I'm all right. Sonia, what's the matter? Lionel, it... It wasn't me. What? What wasn't you? That, that voice, it wasn't me, Lionel. I didn't fake Stephen's voice. Oh, Sonia, come off it. Now, don't tell me it was a ghost. But it wasn't me. It... Phone. Hello? Oh, oh, yes. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, I will, yes. Uh, the bill? Yes, I'll send it. Yes. Goodbye. Well, who was that? Mrs. Jones. She said they found the money under the third floorboard in the attic. Oh, Lionel. Of course not, Sonia. You know better than that. You who have made a business of this sacred for so many years. You who know all the tricks. There's no such thing as a real ghost, is there? Yes, there, Sonia. Hmm. Sonia doesn't seem to be so sure anymore. Because. Because she's trapped. Trapped in a living nightmare. Real ghost. Is that what I said before? Well, can there be such a thing as a real ghost? Of course not. Because, because ghosts are not real, are they? You can put your hand right through them. That is, uh, if you have the nerve. If fear doesn't freeze every muscle in your body and even stifle the terrified scream that, that big exit from your throat. <laughs> well, but now let's, let's get back to Sonia. Poor soul. She's been living with ghosts so long beginning to act like one. She's withdrawing from reality. (laughs) 
I tell you, you've got to give it up. I won't. Now, stop harping at me. Harping at you? You ought to be glad I'm harping at you. I, it shows I'm interested in your welfare, right, Charlie? Now, look, don't drag me into this. Leave him alone, Lionel. Leave me alone. You've been at this so long, you're beginning to believe in your own faker. That's not true. Now, wait a minute, Sonia. You said only... I didn't say I believed in my own faker. All right, argue over exact words if you want to, but when you told us about that... I point, only said I didn't fake it. Which means that you believe it came out of the air. Well, what else am I to think? There, you see? You do believe it was a ghost. I didn't say that. Then what are you saying? I'm saying I can't find any answer, that's what. I'm saying that so far there isn't any explanation. I'm saying I've got to find out. Find out what, Sonia? Oh, I don't know, Charlie. I I, I don't know anymore. I'm so well, that's confused. why I want you to give this up, Sonia. Because you're so confused. Because it's not good for your mind. There's this kind of way. Oh, leave me alone. Sonia, I'm warning you. Well, stop warning me. That if you don't give up this ridiculous... How can I give it up now? What? I said, how can I give it up now when there's no explanation? I know there aren't anything like ghosts. I've known that all my life, and I still know it. But this, this, this is something different, don't you see? I didn't fake that voice. I know I didn't, and I've got to find out how it happened. All of which means, in other words, that you're not so sure anymore, Sonia. That you do believe it was a ghost. Oh, don't be silly. All right, then you're going on. You're going to continue the seances. Yes, I... I have to. Stephen Jones, little one. Can you let us speak with Stephen Jones? Ask him where the rest of the money is. Your sister, your sister wants to know. Stephen, where's the rest of the money? Come on, Steve, old boy. Come on, boy. Stephen, we found part of it, but there was more. There was more, Stephen. Come on, Steve. Don't be a little skinflint. Where's the rest of the dough? You can't use it where you are, Jones, please. Hurry up. Stephen, Stephen. Stephen, it's me, Myra. No, no, no. I'll get them. Oh, goodness. I can't. What happened? Sonia, what happened, my dear? It just won't work. I guess something's wrong today. I don't know. I couldn't hold them. I couldn't hold them. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jones, but Madam had some trouble during the trance. Uh, we'll have to make it another time. But the rest of the money... Steve must know where it is. I'm afraid we can't continue today. Perhaps uh, next week. Oh, all right. Uh, come on, uh, come on, Ben. Oh, just when it was getting good. You all right? Sure, I'm fine. You got a cigarette? Uh-huh. Thanks. <clears throat> well, I guess I was wrong. About what? At last, I am. I didn't hear a thing today. No voices, thank goodness. When did he leave? Yesterday. Aren't you worried? Don't be silly. He'll be back. He always comes back. If he doesn't come back, you'll have to find a job, and you can bet your bottom dollar he won't do that. Look, Sonia, why don't you meet him halfway? Oh, Give up this medium business. If you do that, maybe Lionel will go out and get a Why job. Why should I give it up? It brings in money. Lots of money. Plenty of suckers around who believe in ghosts. If people are going to spend money anyway, why shouldn't I collect it? Yeah, a certain amount of truth in that. But, Sonia, uh, speaking of people who believe in ghosts, you did just the other day. Who, me? That voice. My imagination. A trick of the mind. I just... But you weren't so sure the other day. Well, I am now. Nothing happened in yesterday's seance. True, but you still haven't found that explanation you were looking for for that voice. I don't need it. I tell you, it was my imagination. I thought I didn't fake that voice, but I must have. Simple. You weren't so sure about it the other day. You keep saying that. You weren't sure, Sonia. But I am now. Are you, Sonia? Of course. What What makes you think I'm not? Keep your hand on the table, Ben. Stop fidgeting. I'm not fidgeting. The yes. table's moving. Yes, little one, I hear. I hear you. Yes, I hear you, little one. She stop, little one. Be quiet. Must 
Stephen! There's the dough, Steve, old boy. Where's the rest of the dough? Look, it's coming closer. Is that you, Stephen? Is that you? Sit down. I hear you had a bad shock. Charlie, I, I'm frightened. Nah, Sonia. I'm so frightened, Charlie. Sonia, I want to... Martin, Martin came back. Oh, now, Sonia. Yes, Sonya. yes, it was Martin after ten years. He came back from the dead. Now, hold I'm on. I'm so frightened, Charlie. What will I do? What can I do? But this is nonsense, Sonia. You know what I know. There's no such thing as ghosts. But I saw him, Charlie. I saw him and I heard him. Now, listen. Sonia. He had a message for me. It was just in your head, your imagination. A message? But what message, Charlie? Oh, I'm so frightened, and I asked it so badly. I I screamed. I screamed and swore at him. He'll be mad, Charlie. He'll be mad and then. Now, now, stop it, Sonia. You know it wasn't Martin. Dead people can't come back. It was your imagination. No. No, because Mrs. Jones saw and heard him, too. And Ben Jones, he was there, and he saw Martin and heard him. Sonia. It was Martin, Charlie. My dead brother Martin, dead for ten years, and he came back. Now, why in the world would I don't he... know. I don't know why he did, but he wanted to tell me something. What, Charlie? Oh, I'm so frightened. I'm so frightened, Charlie. Sonny, you got to pull yourself out of this. He's mad, Charlie. He's mad with me for behaving the way I did, for screaming at him. That's why I'm frightened, because Martin was always so spiteful, because I... Sonia... He'll kill me. Sonia, stop it. Now, stop it, Sonia. There wasn't any good... But I saw him. I saw Martin. Impossible. No. No, you're wrong, Charlie. Not impossible. You're wrong. It was a ghost. It was Martin. And he's come back. He's come back to tell me something and to haunt me. So then I, I told her that... Quiet, here she comes. What's the matter, Sonia, dear? Nothing. You've been walking around the house for days just as though you were in a trance. What is it? I'm all right, Lionel. I'm all right now. I know what I have to do now. Know what you have to do? What do you mean? I know what my work is now. Huh? What work, Sonia? You see, I've thought it through. I've figured it out. Figured what About I... Martin. Oh, now, Sonia, I told you it was a hallucination. No, no, you're wrong, Lionel. I know it was Martin, and now I know why he came back. Now I know what he wanted to tell me. What, Sonia? Martin wants me to continue his work. The work he left ten years ago when he died. What? Yes. You see, he's been watching me. He's been watching me make a fool of myself, holding seances and not believing in them. So he came back. 
he came back to admonish me, to teach me a lesson, and to ask me to give my heart to it now, and to carry on his work. What? Sonia, this is ridiculous. No, no, at last I know the truth. Now I can really begin. Goodness, Charlie, Charlie, what are, what are we going to do? Now, take it easy, Lionel. Yes, now I can go on without being frightened. Now, now, wait a minute, Sonia. Yes, Martin came back to now, tell me... Now, now, wait a minute, had... please. Martin didn't come back. I know he didn't come back, and so does Charlie here. Now, now, listen to me, Sonia. Charlie and I, Charlie and I have something to tell you. Tell me? Now, now, you're, you're not going to like this, uh, Sonia, but it's the only way. I, I just have to do it. Now, listen carefully to me. Sonia, Charlie and I, Charlie and I faked Martin's ghost. No. Yes, we, we faked Martin's ghost. His, his voice, too, with a recording tape. And that other voice, Stephen, we, we faked that, too. No. We did it, Sonia. We did it because we thought it was the, the only way to pull you out of this nonsensical No. Life. We were trying to frighten you, dear. We were trying to frighten you so that you'd give it up. We, we fake the ghost and, and the voices without your knowledge. No, 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 that is I not true. I tell you, it is true. It is. Isn't it, Charlie? Isn't it true? Yeah, yeah, it, it's true, Sonia. Lyle's right. We did fake those. No, ghosts. you're just trying to trick me. But, Sonia... You're trying to make me believe that Martin didn't come back. But he didn't. It was Charlie. Charlie faked his voice. I know. I just won't believe it. Now, I won't because I know that Martin came back. I know what I have to do now. Sonia! I must carry on his work. I know that now. And nothing can stop me. I must put my heart into it, and I must give my life to the realm of the spirit and help others to speak to their loved ones. And I must contemplate and work. I must, I must. Oh, no. Want a drink? Make it a double. Oh, everything turned out wrong. Backwards. Well, this was all your idea, Charlie. Now look what happened. Now look what you've done. Look what I've done. Now hold on. You went along with it. You thought it'd scare her out of that stuff. All right, all right. But it was your idea. Only one thing I can't understand. What? When I faked the voice of Stephen Jones, that was all nonsense I said about the money being under the third floor board in the attic. But then, then they found it there. How come? I need another drink. So do I. So, in the dark of night, if you see a light, don't be scared and don't you faint. Just remember, in your fright, there's nothing there. Because ghosts ain't. <laughs>